today's mutual fundamentals, a stock fund that's beaten the S&P 500 for the 12 for 12 of the past 14 years. The TCW Galileo Select Equity Fund is up 31% over the past year, solidly beating its benchmark, the S&P 500. Joining us from Los Angeles with more is Lee Crawford, Portfolio Manager with TCW. Lee, thank you for being with us. Hello, thank you for I'm, having me on your I'm show today. I'm fascinated. Uh, we're going to get to your picks in a second because I, they didn't make sense to me. They were counterintuitive to me um, based on your success at beating the market. But the bottom line is the numbers speak for themselves. You've, you have been up. You're, you're up 31% uh, on a 52-week basis versus 11 for your benchmark. L tell me what leads you to the success year after year after year. Uh, our mantra is uh, quality growth investing. And by quality... We mean uh, that we emphasize companies that have unique and sustainable competitive advantages, that have management teams with a prior history of success, and have uh, best of breed financial performance. By growth, we like to see that the company is gaining share of its industry, that the industry is gaining share of the economy, and that the company is expanding and improving its profitability, or some combination of the three. Uh, by investing, we uh, like to be concentrated. We have about 30 stocks on average. We have low turnover. Uh, our average holding period is about four to five years. Uh, we conviction weight the portfolio, and what that means is we rank our holdings from one to 30. Our number one position will be the largest weighting. The number 30 will be the lowest weighting, and everything else in ascending order with, with its ranking. Who's it for? Who, who's, who best? I mean, it's for anybody who wants to make money, apparently. But what, what, who is this portfolio designed for? Somebody who's looking for any kind of tax advantage or it's a, a well-diversified portfolio? I, I think that the, you know, someone has to understand what their uh, investment objectives are and what their risk profile is. I think if you're looking for a portfolio uh, that's very concentrated, uh, that emphasizes uh, the best companies uh, that can be found and has this, a, a long-term orientation, then, then I think we would be appropriate for you, whether you be an individual or a city or a state or a county or an endowment or a hospital or a union. Uh, we have clients of all, all types. All right, let's take a look at some of the uh, stocks that you uh, recommend people take a look at. One of them is Progressive uh, Corporation, the auto insurer. You like Genentech and you like Amazon. Um, Progressive is the one I understand the most as a, as a recommendation. Tell me your thoughts on it. Well, we like Progressive because they're the low-cost underwriter of auto insurance, and we think uh, yeah, they're driving their business model towards a, a direct uh, relationship with the customer. So you would get uh, their insurance from uh, calling an 800 number or going to the Internet, and we think they're going to take the insurance agent uh, out of the game, and this is much uh, similar to how Dell took the retailer out or how Schwab took the broker out. And we just think it's an intrinsically, uh, you know, lower cost form of distribution. And like Dow and like Schwab, Progressive is a, sort of a low cost, high service, uh, direct relationship with the customer approach to auto insurance. Now, it, that stock has gone up a certain amount. Uh, Genentech has gone up a lot, well over 100% in the last little while. Amazon.com up a lot. And that's what I said I thought was counterintuitive. You're recommending stocks that have run up with this market. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, maybe let me talk about why we like Genentech and why we like uh, Amazon and then maybe as a separate topic address the, the topic of valuation. Uh, we like Amazon because we think that they are building the internet version of Walmart. Uh, in mass market retail what you need to be successful is assortment and convenience and price and Amazon has, has this uh, very strongly. Uh, you look at Walmart, the most successful retailer of all time, and they turn their inventory about eight times a year. You look at uh, Amazon's inventory turns, and it's around two and a half times better than Walmart at uh, t over 20 times inv inventory turns a year. So we think that Amazon has a very competitive approach to retailing, and they're taking the brick and mortar uh, out of retailing. And that's just a, a better, faster, cheaper way to do it. Uh, Genentech is, you know, one of the world's leading uh, platforms for the research and development of uh, therapeutics for severe unmet, severe unmet medical needs. They have a particular expertise in oncology and are advancing our ability to treat cancer. 
On, on the topic of valuation... Lee, I'm, I'm going to uh, have guess... to hold you on that just because we're going to run out of time, but it's a good topic and we should, we should bring you back and talk about that. Okay. Thanks, Lee. Lee Crawford is a portfolio manager with TCW Galileo Select Equity Fund, joining us from Los Angeles. In our money moment today, Folger kicks the can. You might remember Mrs. Olson, Maybe the character in the Folger's the coffee, coffee commercials. Folger? Folger's. Most ladies I help out say it's wonderful.